Today we're going to take a look at Erner Berry's Commercial Guide to Fish and Shellfish. This book was produced to introduce buyers and sellers of seafood to the most commercially available species of fish and shellfish in the United States. More than just a graphical representation, this identification manual also provides information on sourcing, nutrition, eating quality, and global supply. In this video, we will take some time to break down how to use this guide and interpret the vast amounts of information contained on each page in order for you to get the most out of this valuable tool. To get started, you'll notice that pages A5 through A11 of this guide contain detailed information about fishing techniques, food safety and handling procedures, product forms, and seafood certifications. We encourage each and every reader to review this section and familiarize themselves with these basic industry terms, as they will be featured repeatedly throughout this guide. Moving on, you'll then notice the guide is divided into two seafood subcategories, finfish and shellfish. Let's take a look at these sections. In addition to featuring shellfish, such as clams, conch, and squid, we have in-depth coverage of four major commodity groups, crab, lobster, oyster, and shrimp. It is here you will find detailed information on a number of species, including a brief history of the item, nutritional information, and eating qualities. In addition to the myriad of fin fish items identified, the fin fish category also contains featured sections on salmon, shark, and tuna, where you'll be able to research various details about each specific commodity. Now let's break down a page. For this example, turn to page 132, the Mahi Mahi entry. Like most commodity pages in this guide, the Mahi Mahi entry features two pages worth of information. Each entry will depict a graphic of whichever commodity you're researching, as well as a specification section that provides the market, scientific, and common names for the subject. You'll see a detailed description of each product in addition to an official nutrition facts panel from the National Nutrition Database and an eating quality guide. To aid our readers on how to properly identify how each commodity will appear in your local grocery store or seafood market, a high-definition photograph of the raw product is also included for most entries. Here you'll see a fresh mahi-mahi filet with most of the dark bloodline removed. Additionally, we have provided the methods on how the product was fished, in this case, hook fishing. Again, refer to pages A5 through A11 for detailed information for each term. You'll also find the product forms that Mahi Mahi is commercially available in, pack descriptions for the product as well as where the global supply of the commodity originates from, and whether or not the catch is wild or farmed are also included. Venturing to the back of the commercial guide, on page 202 you will find the Not Forgotten section, which features brief descriptions of commercially important but not relatively well-known species, which we determined were worth mentioning. Finally, we've included a dictionary of market terms and an index for the convenience of our readers. That concludes our tutorial of Erner Berry's Commercial Guide to Fish and Shellfish. For information on how to order your copy today, please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call us at 732-240-5330.